Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. Yeah, I didn't have to see that, Wario. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get demonet- Oh wait, I don't get paid for these videos. Never mind. Never mind, no demonet demonetation over here. But this is what you get, pal! Super Strike Oh yeah! Now that's how you start the game, ladies and gentlemen. And only five seconds in. <laughs> Man, Mario must have took offense with that or something. That's one thing I will say. I wish, uh, wish the characters had more than one intro. Like, uh, since I'm technically the visiting team now, I, at least I assume that's how it works. Since I'm on the uh, other side and I don't get the fireworks, that means I'm the visiting team, right? So, why not give me a different intro? You know, that, that'd be cool. But no, unfortunately, that uh, does not happen. Oh, there it is. There's the perfect super strike. And here we go. Ooh, suddenly stops. And two points. Feel so bad for that poor critter. Like, oh man. Does that hurt, hurt him at all? I'm just curious. Like, I mean, getting hit with the ball with that much force that knocks you back into the net. I imagine that can't, you know, not hurt a little bit. Then again, it is a video game. Maybe I'm overthinking it a bit. Has that ever happened in real soccer? Probably not. I don't know anybody that, that has enough force to kick the ball like that after all. At least if it ever has happened, I've never heard of it. Man, 34 seconds in, I'm already up 6-0. Come on, Wario. You're making Peach look good all of a sudden. Making her toads look okay. Get your game on, man. It's supposed to be like a rivalry battle here. Mario and Wario. You know, bitter rivals that don't like each other in the series usually. Although in that one uh, Nintendo Power comic uh, that got re-released as a Mario comic, it actually sounds like Mario and Mario were friends at one point, but Mario just took it the wrong way, that's why I didn't like Mario. Should read that comic sometime, it's really good, by the way. Or maybe I should read some- OH CRAP BOWSER! Ah, Get out of here! So yeah, that's what happens with Bowser attacks. Just out of nowhere, Bowser comes in and messes with the game. And to say I HATE that is an understatement. Uh, trust me, I plan on turning that off very next cup, if not sooner. Well, okay, that's the soon as I can do it, but you know what I mean. Bowser attacks are lame. Like, here's a better idea, guys. How about just have Bowser as a playable character? That's a much better idea if you ask me. Yep, ironically, he would be a playable character in the next game, and uh, he was freaking awesome in it. Like, you better get bored. Just look at Bowser's animations from uh, Mario Strikers Charge. In fact, look up all the characters' animations, because again, it's amazing. Especially love his uh, love his animation where he puts his claws together and goes like excellent, almost like Mr. Burns or something like that. So awesome! Again, this is the best version of every character because you actually get to see their personality shine. It's like, man, why can't they do this in all the games? Like Mario Power Tennis did have you know more personality for the characters in their trophy animations and whatnot, which was great. But I don't know, it's just like Mario Strikers all seem to go. Excuse me. Just like Mario Strikers tend to, you know, go the extra mile, though. And I, you know, I appreciate that. It's like, I love these characters, but and I love seeing their personalities shine. It's it's great. Especially Mario, because as we all know, Mario has always been kind of the uh, everyman in a way. He doesn't have much of a personality. And uh, that's always been kind of a problem with him, in my opinion. Like, I love Mario to death, don't get me wrong. But it's like... Why can't they give him more personality or more speaking lines, stuff like that? It's like you got a good voice for Mario nowadays. Oops. Well, okay. Charles Martin never retired and all, but uh, the new guy is pretty good from what I've heard him wonder. So, why not just let him do more? I mean, yes, I know YouTube poops and Hotel Mario and all that. That's, that's definitely the reason why Link doesn't talk anymore in the game, Legend of Zelda games, right? But, uh, you know, it's just like... 
He's your main character. Like, even Disney with Mickey Mouse and the new Mickey Mouse shorts gave Mickey Mouse more personality. He's not the everyman every, everybody knew back in the day. And it's like, it's awesome. Why can't we just do that with Mario and crew all the time? I, I just don't get that. Maybe it's because uh, Next Level Games isn't making all the Mario games. I don't know. Also, Waluigi still needs his own game, by the way. Seriously, Mario Strikers Charge sold me on that. Waluigi needs, needs his own game. Mario can be in it too, but Waluigi has to be a star in it. Because seriously, Waluigi is so underappreciated. It's a shame. Like, I mean, I shouldn't say he's underrated because the internet sure loves him since he's the most memeable character and all. The internet loves him. So why not just give him his own game already? And it's not like he's never played a major role in any games like in... Mario Party 3, a game I LP'd, by the way, if you ever want to watch that. You know, he's the final boss, in a way. Before the twist, of course. But I'm not going to spoil the twist, because uh, I'm going to assume somebody watching this hasn't seen the Mario Party 3 LP yet, so I'm not going to spoil the twist. But he is uh, the last guy you got to fight for this final stamp. So, yeah, he was very important there. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, he's the first guy you got to battle. It's like... He can play an antagonist pretty good when you just let him, so why don't you let him? I don't get it. Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling about random stuff here, because uh, unfortunately one problem with this series is uh, I'm not going to have a lot to say very quickly, so uh, like the Animal Boxing LP, I'm going to have to probably change gears and instead of talking about the gameplay and whatnot, I'm going to have to switch up into commentary mode, so uh, I'm not sure how soon I'm going to do that. But, spoiler, it will probably be very soon. It'll just be me, you know, acting like a commentator watching sports rather than an LP or so. It's going to be a little bit different. I probably should mention this in part one, but uh, I was explaining the game and whatnot. So, yeah, somewhat an excuse. Just some... Oh, here we go again. Boom. Catch this critter. Well, he got it. Gotta give him credit for that. All right, fantastic. That makes it 17 to nothing. Holy smokes. Um, wow. Um, I am embarrassing you right now, Wario. I am making you look really bad right now, aren't I? So yeah, this is a, this is just an example of how easy this game can be on rookie mode. Don't worry, we'll be stepping up the difficulty when we take on the Super, super Cups. But I just want to get this out of the way right now so I can show you guys how easy this game can be. So this way, rookies that are new to this game, they're like nervous, like, um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to play this game. It looks kind of hard. Don't worry. They'll start you off on the training wheels with rookie, and then after that, you can take off the training wheels and start playing the game the way it's more meant to be played. So that's the only reason I'm doing this on rookie. That and because uh, you do get an unlock after being the Bowser Cup. And I'd rather get this done quickly. So that way we can move on to the Super Cup, so then I can, you know, do that. So yeah, unlike Mario, my uh, Mario Superstar Baseball LP, I actually plan on taking on both difficulties. Um, I may actually go back to that Mario Superstar Baseball LP eventually and do the higher difficulties with different teams. I'm still debating on that one. I, I may do that eventually. The only thing is, uh, I don't know if it'd be if it get a lot of views or if people would really be interested, you know, it's an old LP. I mean, what I could do is I could always redo the Mushroom Cup really quickly and then do uh, the rest of the cups after, or are they even cups or are they just levels? It's been so long since I've played that game, obviously. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. The future is unwritten after all. We'll see what I decide. And there we go. 20 to nothing. Wario, you suck. I'm just going to say it like it is, man. Your team sucks. Sorry to say. Maybe you'll get a better shot at me when we take you on again in uh, a later cup. Because, spoiler, we will be facing them off, off of them again eventually. It's not a case of if, it's a case of when. And, uh, yeah. Now we're going to take on Daisy. Fourth place. Poor Daisy's not going to win a single game. That sucks for you, Daisy. But, uh, at least I'll go, un go undefeated. That's cool. Sass 
on Daisy is real. So sassy. I like that. <laughs> Again, I like seeing all the characters' personalities, so thank you for actually giving them personalities in this game, Next Level Games. Seriously, Next Level Games seriously excels at giving characters personality. They did it with Super Mario Strikers, they did it with Punch Out on the Wii. It's like another game I LP'd in case you want to watch that eventually. I appreciate it because uh, that was a fun game to LP. I was proud of it for the most part. And uh, yeah, there's the electric wall in action right there. In case you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure you've seen it uh, somewhere, but uh, basically just uh, hit the Y button, tackle someone in there, and then you get to watch them get shocked. And it is so, so satisfying to do that to other players, let me tell you. I remember back when I first got this game, when I was a teenager, I, I used to not even play the game properly. I would just hit people into the wall and watch them get electrocuted. And, you know, I'd still score, score goals and win the game, but I wouldn't be trying that hard to score. I'd just be like, okay, I got a goal. Now, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Everybody into the electric wall. And I would do it with pretty much all the teams, all the characters, just because why not? Why not? Yeah, except for uh, Luigi and Yoshi. Those were the only two that were really safe. And Mario to extend to. I usually didn't pick Mario. I usually picked on the other characters just because. I don't know why. I just. Just did. Like I say. I was a weird teenager. I still, I'm still a weird man to this day. Although I shouldn't say man because I'm a Yoshi in disguise. But, uh, you know, details, details. World domination someday. <laughs> Anyways. Another goal! Yay! Looks like uh, this is going to be another easy win. This is the first cup after all. Do you expect a challenge? No. I don't expect a... Wow! Critter! How many... Six goals in one minute. Are you kidding me? Pull him right away. Seriously, if this was hockey, he'd be pulled by now. Now that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Again, it's the, it's the first cup. It's on novice difficulty. What do you expect? Do you expect a challenge? No, I sure don't. Not just because I've been playing this game for years, but also because, you know, first cup, easy difficulty, because I want to demonstrate how easy this game can be for uh, newcomers, so that way they don't get scared and be like, uh, that game's kind of hard. Maybe I shouldn't play it. I know, you should play it. Just play on the novice difficulty if you have to at first, because, uh, you know, not everybody's hardcore. Not everybody's, you know, Want to play Cuphead or FC or GX? I understand that. That's why I like to try to demonstrate, you know, with some games that sound like they're hard or look like they're hard. No. With a little practice, you can get good at them and, you know, kick some butt. So, yeah. And that's also part of the reason why I play Mario Party games on easy, plus to laugh at the dumb AI. <laughs> I just finished Mario Party 4, if anybody hasn't watched that yet. So, uh, yeah. Another GameCube game, because hey, the GameCube is awesome. And spoiler alert, I got another GameCube game I want to play. Maybe not this year, but certainly next year, we'll see. There's a lot of GameCube games. Oh, there's Bowser again. I do, I do like the music that plays, so I'll give him that. But uh, that's about all I can say. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely turning that off next cup. Sorry, guys, I hate Bowser Attack. Just like literally comes in, he messes with the game, and then he walks, runs away. It's like, that's not fun. I'm sorry, but that's not fun. Whenever I play this game, that is always turned off no matter what. I'm sorry. Sorry if you want to see that, but no, Bowser attacks are lame. But you know what's not lame? Two points! Hey, Critter, catch! Fantastic. Another Super Shrek goal. Gotta love it. It'll be really funny is if you get a bunch of, you know, Super Shreks like that, and you end up knocking the critter through the net. That'd be, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> like, that would be so hilarious. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen in this game. Would have been cool, though. Yeah, especially because in, like, Mario Tennis Aces, which which sucked by the way, I'm just gonna say it like it is, I did not really care for that game. But anyways, in Mario Tennis Aces, there's actually ways to break rackets and whatnot, which is part of the reason I don't like that game, because that, 
That's really annoying. I'm just going to say it like it is. I don't like it. But, uh, back on topic. Like, just imagine if they did that in, like, Mario Strik or Striker's Battle League or something like that. that. That'd be hilarious. Of course, Striker's Battle League doesn't have Critter anymore. They have, uh, Bam Bam as the goaltender now. It's just like, eh, I just don't care for that. I just don't care for Striker's Battle League to begin with, though. But, uh, I'll try not to make this a video or video series where I just go on about why I don't like Striker's Charge and why I don't like Battle League and all that. Like, Battle League and Charge are not horrible games. Don't get me wrong. They're not bad, bad. It's just they're lacking in comparison, in my opinion. Like, from my, from, nah, let, me, let me reward this. In areas where they thrive, other areas they kind of lack. Mainly modes. Like I showed in the main menu earlier, you can do custom battles. So if you want to get a couple friends together and do like a custom battle where you guys get together, you know, once every weekend or something like that and play, you know, play each other's teams who see who ends up winning the tournament all, so to speak. Yeah, you, know, you can do that. You can't do that in Battle League. Then again, maybe, maybe they updated that. I haven't played it since it came out, so I don't know. You can't do that in Charge. I know that. I remember that much for sure. That's part of the reason why I didn't play Charge much. Because it's just like, oh, I, I can't do custom battles anymore. I can't invite friends over and do that. Oh, that's uh, that's kind of lame. Because that was one thing that my cousins I always love to do. We used to get together over the weekends and we would uh, play my GameCube. And we'd, uh, you know, one of the games we'd always play is Mario Strikers. And we'd uh, set up custom battles. We'd have a big schedule and we'd, uh, we'd play the computers, obviously. But we'd also play each other. And it was a, it was a good time. It was a good time. Because the great thing about playing with friends is, uh, especially, especially my cousins back then, because they were actually pretty talented at this game too, is that uh, I didn't always win. There were times where they beat me, and I was like, yeah, cool, good game. And especially we got to do, you know, uh, knockout rounds and stuff like that, because you do that too. It's like, awesome, let's see, let's see who survives to the end. It was, it was fun, what can I say? Uh, but I will say, Striker's Charge and uh, even uh, Battle League to extent does have some really great animation and uh, personality for the characters as well. I'd say Striker's Charge is the overall best for character personalities and animations, but uh, Battle League still, does, still, does, uh, still does have some good ones. I certainly can't deny that. And hey, it's cool that it has online, but uh, Striker's Charge also had online, but even though it kind of sucked back then. Really, the online was not not good on the Wii. I'm just gonna say it like it is. Remember, remember how bad the online was when you played a Wii game? I do. There's lag all the time. It's hard to find a game. It's just like, ugh. Anyways, congratulations to Mario, the Mushroom Cup champion. Yay! All right, so that's one cup done. Three more to go, and let's check out the Super Cups. In which case, seven more to go. Alright, cool. So, I'm just gonna skip the match highlights because who realistically cares? Not me. Alright, so, congratulations to Mario for winning the Mushroom Cup. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for playing my game. Oh, and Col Conga Coliseum is available and Fire Cup is available now. Cool. And Milestone Progress, so. Yeah, you can also unlock cheats in this game, which is pretty cool. You get enough milestones, and you unlock some cool cheats I'll be sure to show off at the end of the game. But anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.